Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we are making some arroz con pollo, Cuban style, or known in English as chicken and rice, Cuban style. Our ingredients for today is ground garlic. Uh, uh, the Italian seasoning is actually supposed to be oregano. We're going to go ahead and switch that. We have completa seasoning, cumin or comino, some black pepper, some salt, uh, pack of sazón goya, and some chicken bouillon. Also, we're going to have one can of Goya tomato sauce, some olives, some homemade sofrito that I made. And this is a four cup measuring cup. So we're going to use two to two and a half cups of rice and about three to three and a half cups of water. Now on to the recipe. All right, so we are making some arroz con pollo. I'm looking for my spoon. Can't find it. Here we go. All right, so we are making some arroz con pollo. I put about two and a half tablespoons of vegetable oil. The oil is very hot right now, so we're just gonna add the chicken. And we're gonna go ahead and add two tablespoons of my homemade sofrito. Put a little bit more. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up. Again, this is arroz con pollo or chicken and rice Cuban style, my way. I did cut the chicken breast into cubes and I seasoned it with a little bit of salt and pepper because we are going to add some more salt um, and some more. We're going to be adding some chicken bouillon to, the, to this recipe. So let's go ahead and let that warm up for a little bit. Now that it's getting hot, we're going to add some sazón completa. Again, all the ingredients are to your taste, to your liking, however you like to do it. And we're going to add some cumin or comino. I don't put too much of this. Some people like a lot. Some people not so much. Now we're going to go ahead and give that a mix. Every time we add something, we mix it up. Next, we're going to add some garlic powder. About one tablespoon or three cloves of garlic worth. And we're going to add some oregano. About a quarter of a teaspoon. Then we're going to go ahead and give that a mix. Next, we're going to add uh, about a half a pack to a pack of chicken bouillon. I'm doing about a half a pack here. And one pack of sazon. Go ahead and give that a stir. My heat is on medium. All right, so next we're gonna add some olives. Put as many or as little as you like. That's about good for me. And now we're going to add a can of Goya tomato sauce and give all that a mix. Mm. 
We're gonna go ahead and let that cook for a little bit, for about a minute or two. Just let the tomato um, bring out the flavor. The heat's gonna bring out the t flavor from the tomato. And then we're gonna add our rice. I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but I am gonna be adding one can of peas to this at the very end. Um, you could use frozen peas, but I prefer canned peas for this dish specifically. All right, now that it's been about a minute or so, actually a little bit more than a minute, we're gonna go ahead and add the rice. This is a four cup measuring cup and I had between two and two and a half cups of rice and give all this a mix. This is where your rice is really gonna get that good flavor right here at this stage. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add the water. I like to add a little bit first and mix it all up. Scrape any rice that may be stuck to the bottom. Let's go ahead and add a little bit more. You want about a half an inch to an inch of water above your rice and above your chicken. Go ahead and give that a mix. Scrape the bottoms, make sure nothing's sticking. And then add in the rest of your water. So I could I could see the I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's about a about three quarters of an inch of water here above the rice. And now we're gonna go ahead and add the rest of our salt. So I did season the chicken with a little bit of salt and pepper. Uh, we added half a pack of chicken bouillon, and now we're adding a teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna go ahead and give that a mix as well. Okay, so now that we added our salt and mixed it up as well, I put I raised the flame up just a little bit for about a minute or so. You're gonna see it start little bubbles just come up a little bit. Then you're gonna go ahead and add your aluminum foil. This is what's gonna seal it and cook the rice perfectly. So you put your aluminum foil, put your lid on top. I like just to fold it over. Make sure it's pushed down securely so that way no air really comes out and you're gonna cook it for 30 minutes and I adjust the temperature um, I cook it on on just below medium for 10 minutes then I cook it on medium low for 10 minutes and then on low for 10 minutes equaling 30 minutes then we'll get to the final step see you soon okay so it has been 30 minutes now again I cooked it on 10 minutes on just below medium, then I cooked it for 10 more minutes on medium low, and then 10 minutes on low. We're gonna go ahead and stir it up, and then cook it for about another five minutes with the peas. Just wanna go ahead and give it all a good mix. Again, I am adding one can of peas. I did drain the liquid. Let's go ahead and give that a quick mix. The peas again are optional. If you don't like peas, you do not have to put them. I also make this dish with chorizo. Uh, just, I just didn't do it today. On the bottom, you're gonna have a little bit of something we call rapa or Puerto Ricans call pegao which is the rice where it gets a little bit burnt. Um, it is edible and that's where all the flavor goes. So again, go ahead and mix it. 
We're gonna leave for about five to 10 more minutes and then I'll show you the final result. Okay, so it's been about seven minutes and our rice is done. Beautiful, delicious arroz con pollo, Cuban style. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Beautiful, beautiful, tastes delicious. Okay guys, here it is, arroz con pollo, Cuban style, the final result. As you can see, perfectly cooked, delicious, arroz con pollo with chicken breast and peas. Enjoy this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so yet. Uh, click like and share this with your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.